The execution of this term sheet is positioned against the backdrop of fundamental and seismic changes in our energy ecosystem and amidst another challenging cycle of lower gas and falling commodity prices. Today, U.S. Gulf methanol and ammonia are hovering at 385 and 184, respectively. Trade tensions, U.S. sanctions, and Brexit anxieties amplify these economic pressures, pushing prospects for global growth law. In these circumstances, the reset of the industry, which started in 2015, must continue to be approached dynamically by NGC, with ongoing and appropriate strategic course correction. Like Apple, we must be different, and we must be better. This new agreement therefore allows for more sustainable alignment between Shell's strategy for further investment and development in Trinidad and Tobago, the needs of the people and government of Trinidad and Tobago, and of course, the National Gas Company. Today is the outcome of a relationship that has been cultured and worked on for years, as Derek has mentioned. As with all relationships, there have been differences which had to be settled, but at the end of the day, it was a spirit of openness, trust, and accountability that steered us to this outcome. This term sheet agreement with Shell, the product of negotiation dating back since the third quarter of 2017, will secure gas from Shell's portfolio and will also put NGC on firmer ground when negotiating with downstream customers, which is currently in process. This signing will complement other contracts executed with BPTT, EOG, and BHP, no Shell. We have no, we now have, ladies and gentlemen, gas supply contracts with all the major upstream producers, and I include the Novo here now. <clears throat> that has no been accomplishment from 2015 to 2019. The two things that really confront us now is this drive to inculcate in us the removal of the NGC from the business. That we're not going to spend any time on. What we're going to do, though, is to look at the other issue, and the other issue is the marketing. That is where the real challenge lies in this business of gas in which we are deeply involved. The gas markets have become our place of sustenance. Because if we did not rely on the gas, I don't know what we'd rely on to maintain our standard of living and our expense profile. Until other things come along, and other things we are working on, other things to come along, but until they come along, we are in the middle of the gas marketing place.